Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one and only Archer with Archer Astrology. And my fellow Cancerians, it is time to do our September 2022 Love Energy Reading. It's going to be an interesting one, trust me crabs. We've got Mercury Retrograde coming on September 9th. If you think that the 8-8 Lionsgate portal was something to write home about, just you wait until you get a retrograde on 9-9. I'm, I'm just saying. We know what's we know what's coming, right, Krabs? We know what's coming. Anyways, before we get started, I want to announce a 1,000 subscriber contest that I'm doing, Cancer. We are trying to get the family up to 1,000 subscribers, and therefore, I am laying it on the line. And if you can help me share Archer Astrology, get us to that 1,000 subscribers. The following Sunday Night Live after that, after we hit the 1K mark, I am going to do a contest. We're going to get some entries, and we are going to raffle off and give away Old Reliable. The Lightseer's deck is up for grabs. Ooh, hold it. Get back there. Loaded with a butt ton of Archer energy. So it's, uh, I mean, you can use it if you want. You can burn it as kindling in a campfire if you want. Whatever. I don't, it's Archer. We do what we want here because we're Cancers. Yeah. And this, this reading is our time to just tell the other 11 signs to go get screwed because it's it's time for some crab action. Everybody likes crab legs. Who doesn't like crab legs with extra butter? You know what I mean? We do have nice legs, don't we, Cancer? But anyways, I digress. Meanwhile, back at your reading. What we're going to do is what we always do here, guys. We are going to take a look at the past energy, where you've come from, current energy, what has brought you here, and the future energy. We're going to program the chariot's GPS with some coordinates for the outcome you want and see what could uh, potentially be on the way there. So we're going to do it to it. We're going to use the top deck like we always do for our base read. And then we are going to bring a newbie into the energy. For the first Cancer reading, we will have the Mystic Mondays Tarot deck for clarifiers. And dude, guys, I love this energy. I cannot wait to see what this deck does for us. It's going to be just, it's going to be killer. Any, remember, remember, every tarot reader on YouTube or anywhere has a sign because we're all born and human beings. So you tell me that every tarot reader does not get a little excited when they get to do their own sign. This is our time, Cancer. So we're going to do it to it. All right, let's get this clarifier deck cleaned up and ready to rock and roll. Here we go. For September of 2022, our clarifiers, we're going to start with the past for Cancer. Get the clarifier deck up there. Two more shuffles. One and two. Getting, oh, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting slick. It's getting slick. That butter we talked about is happening. All right, this one's ready. The tot deck's ready. I think we're ready, Cancer. Not looking at the bottom until we get to it, okay? Even I don't know yet. We're going to leave it right there. All right. All right, Cancer, September 2022, with Mercury retrograde happening, what is going on? Where you been? Oh, we've been at the Two of Cups, Cancer? All right, I'm liking this. This is this is some good love underneath here. This is Minor Arcana Gemini, and I just did Gemini's reading too, so let's see, let's see what happens. Here we go. All right, in the past, you've been a Knight of Pentacles. You, Tell, find me one crab that likes to go slow. Seriously. Do we need to even explain this one, Cancer, the Knight of Pentacles? You are sitting there. The chariot is like super turbocharged with a turbine engine. You don't, we don't, we don't go slow in the chariot. And this right here drives you nuts. This is Grandpa in the left lane in that red Taurus. And he's doing 15 miles and under under the speed limit. And Cancer's in, been sitting here going, you know what? I have been behind Grandpa for seven light years. I'm over this. It's time to... Foot on the gas, you know you're going to crash. Always on the go, can't say no. That's Chariot. And and Cancer not having this slow moving stuff. Getting a little burnt out on it. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, yep. You, Cancer, has been, ha that's, you, you literally built a fort. You built a Scrooge McDuck vault. Remember what happens in real life. You go trying to dive into a pool full of gold coins, you will probably break every bone in your body. They, in reality, do not give. Scrooge McDuck would have been just completely destroyed if he jumped into that vault. But that's where you're at right now. That Literally what I was saying with Grandpa in the left lane. You're tired of shit going slow, and you're like, F this. I want it my way, and that's the way it's going to be. It's literally Backstreet Boys. I want it my way. Or that way, my way. Hit. It's, it's cancer. We do what we want. Yeah. So... 
That's where you're at. You're you're sick and tired of the slow moving energy, and you're like, I'm about ready, Queen of Wands. I'm about ready to to light this place on fire. You feel like going a little Sagittarius and just burning the place to the ground? Yeah, maybe getting a little over it and ready for some stuff to start moving forward. You're like, you know what? I've I've had this chariot for all of eternity. It's always blown to Cancer, and I'm getting a little tired of going slow. Race cars don't like to go slow. And you're starting to embrace more. You might have some Aries, Leo, or Sag placements, Cancer, something like that going on, maybe like Leo Venus or or something. And and you're starting to embrace that one where you're almost sitting there going, I want love. I'm tired of driving home alone and not getting to call somebody and be like, how was your day? What are we doing for dinner? Oh, God, not that place again. You know, you, you kind of want that. And you're getting tired of going slow. And that's what's bringing you here. Two of Pentacles, change. Will they, won't they, can't decide. In the top deck, it's a decision made. You notice how they're balanced? They're one on top of the other. And this this snake going around them, even though we all know the snake really is doing a little snake in the grass there. But it, this is balance. This is yin and yang. This is cancer saying, I'm ready for change. I'm tired of the old way of doing things. I don't want to do it the old way no more. We're going to try something new. And uh, remember, our, our chariots are bulletproof, molecularly bonded crab shells. And it, Ace of Cups told you, I'll get back to the chariot joke in a second, because right now we got something more going on right here, because you're ready for that Ace of Cups. This is us showing up to the table. Cancer Pisces Scorpio comes out right there now. And that's, the dude, this is a really simple one right here. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are even sort of going, yeah, Archer, that's exactly what's happening right here. Where you, you're you in this, too, the, the whole energy of the past is, is so Cancer, Two of Cups. It's literally, that's all cancer wants. Cancer runs on love. The chariot runs on love. That's the secret fuel that runs the chariot, right? Right. And all you need is a hug. A hug will make a cancer happy, that type of a thing. And other people don't realize that because we're all in this modern way of, of, oh, my safe zone in six, six feet. Oh, good Lord. It's just, it's just a cold. Six feet. Put a mask on. We're past all that stuff, right? 2022, heading to 2023. It's Virgo season. You got a new moon in Virgo. You got Virgo season. The sun's hanging out in Virgo. Mercury retrograde. Mercury's going to be in Virgo. That's so much earth energy. It's a dog scraping its butt across the driveway, Cancer. You know what I mean? And that's that's you. That's you grounded, putting your feet in the ground. It, them cancer and legs look good if you put a pair of heels on. You want to dig those heels in the ground too, Cancer? Knock yourself out. Go for it. Because you're saying, I'm over this slow-moving bullshit. I'm ready to embrace a little bit of my fireness. I'm ready for that change for an Ace of Cups. You've never gotten your Ace of Cups yet. It never makes it to Ace of Cups. And you're like, F this. I want my Ace of Cups, right? And to, to get to the Two of Cups, you got to start at the Ace of Cups. This is a really nice flow to it. Um, it's a lot of, I, I, I sense it. I'm a Cancer. I sense it. We're frustrated. We're over it, right? You know, totally. All right, so let's clarify this thing. Oh, shoot. I've already done this. Ah, oh, we already did this. That's okay. Apparently, Spirit told me to do it again. That's how intuition works. We already did it once, but uh, apparently we're doing it again. Trust your intuition. And did, did you hear how my my 3D ego jumped in? I'm like, oh, I already did that. Spirit's like, shut up, Archer. I said do it again, you know? So correct energy at the bottom of the deck, apparently, is going to be the King of Swords. Ooh, use your words wisely, Cancer. And be a, He's a pretty burly-looking king, right? You know? So this is going to be using your words. You might be embracing a little Gemini. Gift of gab, Cancer? Gift to gab much? Gift to gab. Yep, here a fine. Dude, totally makes sense, right? You are tired. You're looking for your harmony. You're looking for your happy ever after. You're cancer. You are looking. You're programmed for 10 of cups. You are literally programmed for 10 of cups. And when you don't get it, you get frustrated. And you are, you're tired of the slow moving energy for that. And getting to the point that you're like, you know what? I'm set in my ways. I know what I want and I know what I'm going for. The hermit. And oh my God, that is totally what we do, is it not? This, you shut down, we go into our shells, we get quiet, and then we, we, we plan, we strategize. Is that a word? That might be. I don't know. Look it up. But we plan out and we think our shells, the inside of our shells are deliciously awesome. People need to come and check them out sometime. You know, we've got theater seating, leather chairs. You've got that nice carpet. There's a foosball table. There's a foosball table in our shells. You know what I mean? Where do you have that? There's an indoor-outdoor pool. It's, it's, it's like the air can triple A approved, you know, there's a waffle bar. We have breakfast. It's like better than the hotel California. There's strawberry wine, the mirrors on the ceiling to stare at, you know, that type of a thing. And that's where you're six of swords. That is totally where you're at. You are really learning how to embrace your air energy. You're learning how to get in your feels in a good way. 
It's okay. You've done this before. You've done it before. You don't want to do it again. And that's where you're like, no mas, no bueno. We're not doing it this way. I want some change, right? Four of swords. Oh, oh, the sword's down. This is very hermit for a cancer. Very hermit for a cancer. Where it's like, you know what? I could stab this sword right through your throat. Make you shut your pie hole. Or I could just very calmly and quietly walk away because I want some change. I want a little ace of cups. Ooh, go five of swords. Four of swords to a five of swords. Okay, I can dig that. Look at this. The other, All the other swords are coming at you, right? Right, Cancer? And you've got one sword. Look, red handle, red crab, right there. You've got one sword. You will frickin' Captain America, Thor, all these other swords right out of the ground. That type of thing. You are, you're, you're locked in your, 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 your trajectory is set. The chariot is programmed and it's on auto cruise. Self-propelled. It's going to the destination and like ain't nobody getting to change that up, you know? So that's what brings you here. Okay. That's what brings you here, Cancer. That's what brought me here. Well, besides that and my legs, because I, you know, walked in the room, but I digress. That's what brings you here. You're five of swords in about an ace of cups. You want your ace of cups. How are we going to get you that? Right here, right now. What you up in your feels about as we go into this Mercury retrograde and everything that's happening? We've just come through the new moon in Virgo with the new moon in uh, new moon in Virgo, sun in Virgo. There's your beginning of the double Virgo before we go into that retrograde. But Cancer, this is going to be a good retrograde. I don't even remember where I was talking about with the chariot joke later earlier, but whatever. We're Cancers. We know what the chariot's all about, you know, right? Anyways, meanwhile, back at the retrograde. Here's what you're up against, Cancer. You've got... It's, it's, it's that good, bad. You know how like when you're making jokes and stuff, because we're cancers, we joke good. You know when you're making those jokes and somebody's like, oh, you're bad. And you're like, but the good, bad, right? And they're like, of course. It's that type of a thing because you've got Mercury retrograde. And Mercury's going to be in Virgo on September 9th when retrograde starts. That's going till October 1st. So it's, it's all September. Right now, just cash in your chips. Go sit down at the buffet and stay. Just, just ride it out. But actually, it might not be too bad. But... You couple it up right now because Mercury is going to be opposing Jupiter, which is also retrograde. Hello, Sag, Jupiter. <laughs> Anyways, it's, it's retrograde in Pisces until November 23rd, right? So there's a reason, and Cancer knows there's a reason why Pisces really got the moon card, right? Now, I know that, that it belongs to us, but there's a reason Pisces got it. And that's because all freaking eternity, the moon makes Cancer its bitch, right? The moon says jump. Cancer goes, how high, ma'am? That type of thing, right? Ask a cancer about a full moon cycle. When you hear people go, oh, it must be a full moon. Dude, don't say that to a cancer because it resonates, resonates, you know, that type of thing. But there's a reason Pisces gets the moon card. And that's because whenever the moon goes into Pisces, the moon becomes Pisces, bitch. That's when baby shark jumps out and goes, you've been picking on cancer this whole time. I'm going to put you in your place. That's why Pisces is the baby shark. And we've got a full moon coming up in, dare I say it, Pisces, while Jupiter is retrograde in Pisces, getting everything in place for uh, like right around September 11th, the great old 9-11 numerology thing. And look up what it's all about. It's going to keep playing out. It's going to be a form of a tower moment. Don't know if it's going to be good or bad yet. That depends on how we ride this energy out, fellow crabs. So keep the legs looking good. People like them. People like them. That's all I got to say. Um, I've probably done this a billion times, so let's just run with it, right? Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck, card of Valor coming out. You know, this is my Star Wars card from a crab who's never seen Star Wars. I still take this as these lightsabers are all lined up, laying on the ground, and they're just like glowing. Just, mm -hmm. and then somebody takes the screwed up one and sits it on top of all of them, and it creates an electronic arc, and then, <laughs> and it just kind of energizes and charges up the deck. If that, and if that makes, if that is not how a lightsaber works, feel free to let me know in the comments, because, again... Probably the only person, not even just a cancer, but the only person on the planet who's never seen Star Wars. And that's where you're at right now. That's what brings you. Wondering if you said the right thing about Star Wars, right? You're at that Seven of Cups point right here now trying to figure out. You're trying to make a decision. You don't know where to go with your choice. You're lost. It's Gallagher trying to figure out which watermelon he wants to smash at tonight's concert. Even though we all know that Gallagher's going to grab his sludge matic and smash all seven freaking watermelon, Right? So it's, it's the choice eventually is going to have to get made because whatever it is, it's going to happen. But right now there's, there's moss growing. There's moss growing, trying to make this decision being stuck put. Remember the Hierophant? It's back. 
Could be a little Taurus influence, a little Taurian energy possibly, but this is literally going on what we said there. The card of harmony, to find that marriage, to find that union, to find that person that you want to take the time to learn how to speak their sign's language and you want them to learn how to speak cancer, it's taken for freaking ever to get there. And that's what you're, you're like, why does this not happen to me? Will this never happen to me? I guess I'm just meant to be this way. This must be how it is, but I don't want it. And you're locked in on that point that you're like, I'm not letting spirit win this one, Nine of Pentacles. You're very grounded right now. This could be some more Taurus energy, but of course it's going to tie into you, Virgo. You may have Virgo placements, or it's just because everything going on right now energetically is friggin' Virgo. You know, so you, we're all getting a little detective -y. We're all getting extra nosy and want to get our Snoop Dogg on a little bit and find out why the hell this hasn't happened yet. It's not just us, Cancer. Don't, don't, fr don't freaking let Taurus try to tell you, oh, no, I'm fine, guys. I don't know why you're so worried. BS, go listen to the Taurus reading. They're just as worried, right? Right? Mm-hmm. I know. But you're getting nine of pentacles about it. Where you're like, F this. I'm going home. And you're st you're starting to do the communicating right now. This That's literally what it is. Where you're sitting there. You feel like spirit has let you down. You've been around this so many times. And you've ran this freaking game so many times that you're over it. And you're tired of it. And that's what it is. You, you, you've made the choice that you want this union. You want somebody in your life. And you're, you're, you're holding firm. Somebody's like, well, no, why don't you just, you know, focus on you. No. For a cancer to be happy and make themselves happy, they have to have somebody else to be. To, it, it's how cancer works. It's, it's literally, it's learning how to speak cancer. You should learn how to speak cancer if you're the cross watcher. I know we have cross watchers here. It's allowed. It's Archer. We do what we want at Archer. Learn how to speak cancer. It's an awesome language. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, it's because of cancer, you know, with the baguettes. Get it on with your eight of wands communication to a ten of swords. See, see, you feel like it's all, all the swords are stabbed right through your back. But here's the cool thing about a cancer. Remember, the shells are molecular bondage. You can't penetrate it. Think of watching Knight Rider cancer and watching the bad guys when they're trying to smash Kit's T-tops with a hammer and use a crowbar to pry the door open and the crowbar bends and the car doesn't even flinch, doesn't scratch, doesn't move. Those 10 swords are in your back, but you're fighting it. You're fighting it. And you're literally telling everybody, hey, 10 swords over here in my shell. Somebody help out, you know? And everybody just looks at it like it's not a big thing. But you're locked in with where you want to go. You're embracing your Virgo energy. And those seven wands are shorting out. That's what happens. And it's what brings you here. You're just... You're, you're, you, I see even, you could be a July 7 Cancer because I see the 7-7 seven, seven happening. Or if not, that was a pinnacle point in Cancer season where you were the most tapped into Cancer's energy. Even if your birthday is June 29th or something, on July 7th, you got, it's, it, that's like, that's the peak point for Cancer season. It's, it's like, like right in the middle between Gemini and Leo. So at that point, we're most energized. July 7th is when Cancer is the most energized, right there. Like from the 6th to the 8th is when Cancer gets its little steroid shot, you know? So that's could be where that point is where it was like your birthday wish during our season, during cancer season, where you were like, F this. Cancer 1.0 is dead. I've buried him in the ground. He's gone. And cancer 2.0 gets his way. Whoa, way to embrace a fellow cardinal signs energy, huh? Going a little emperorish, right? Thinking of Aries. Is there some Aries influence here? Or, or is cancer just completely fed up with this and tired of having to be stuck in their fields making the decisions? Who knows? Let's find out. Somebody knows. I'll bet you Mystic Mondays knows because the bottom of the deck's energy is the Eight of Pentacles. Dude, the deck knows. This deck is totally tuned into Archer already. I love it. You're sitting back and look how artistic this is. You could be artistic. Maybe you enjoy painting or writing or music or tarot, something like that, you know? But you're sitting there. This is taking stock and, and, and going. This has literally been going on in your mind since July. You're months into this where you're like, no, F this. I'm tired of this. I want this. I don't want 10 swords. I've, 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 the swords have been there forever. I want somebody to pull them the frick out, right? And you're taking stock and realizing your worth and everything. Three of swords, see? Chopping up the heart with the swords. That's it. That's, that's what keeps you lost there. You've been hurt so many times, Cancer. You're tired of the past energy. You don't want that cycle anymore. You give and you do. And you're there. It's what a Cancer is. A Cancer needs to be needed. And you're so tired of it all be, always being a one-way street. This here font never happens for you. And you're like, F this, no mas, no bueno. We're not doing this anymore. I'm tired. I want my heart to heal. Two of swords, see? You pulled the first sword out right away. You've already pulled the first sword out. You're down to two of swords. Now you're ready to make a decision. You're ready to make a choice for that nine of pentacles because you're sick of it. You're sick of it. You, you, that first person that when you say something about like how their day is and they go, mine's good, but how's your day? You're going to stop and be like, yeah. That's, yeah, right there. Even something small like that. Ten wands. 
you are walking away from the swords energy. You literally even skip the ace of swords and just were like, nope, 10 ones. You got the swords, everything out of your double tens, double sevens. Here we go. And I didn't even catch the nine, eight, 10, seven, eight, nine, 10. This is, it, that's everything like falling into place and lining up. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Those 10 wands are on your back and you're carrying them away. This is literally, you're literally taking the wands out to the trash. You're like, I'm over this stuff in the past. We're starting over. Don't care where we go with it. Just as long as we're going to my happiness. I want, I, I'm already painting the fence. I'm already putting up a picket fence for my 10 of cups. See, totally. Your empress energy is coming in. This is a badass looking empress too. Dig her. Don't you dig her? That's so cool. Banana. That. You're communicating about being an empress. That when you talk now, you you demand, you command a respect and not really an intimidating factor, but just people look up to you with that empress energy and people notice your legs are looking good. It's just starting, it's starting to head towards that trifecta of everything. Ten of Pentacles. Oh my word, more tens. Ten of Pentacles onto a ten of swords. How do you do that? You take all ten of them swords, you rip them out of your back because the person trying to jam them swords in there didn't realize the shell was molecularly bonded and it wouldn't penetrate. You take all ten of them swords, you put them right in the freaking ground like uh, King Arthur, and you walk the frick away from them. Done. Double tens. Double completion. Ten ten. That's our number right now, Cancer. Ten ten. Bottom of the deck, eight of pentacles. You're taking stock, gathering up, and spirits like, oh shit, Cancer ain't playing around no more. We better do something about this, right? Right. All right, Cancers. What? is a potential outcome that now that we're getting, we're, we've made it through the rain, got our self-respect and all the rest of that stuff too. I've never wrote Barry Manilow a check. How about that shit, right? So what is a potential future outcome as we program our chariots, GPS. Remember, our chariots are kept from night riders, self-propelled, auto cruise, ejection seats, the whole thing. If you, have, if you cross watchers, check out Cancer's Watch. It's how they talk to their chariot. Shh, don't tell. Anyways. I digress. Because yes, Chariot talks. He's rather prissy, rather pedantic. But if somebody hurts the Chariot, we just manifest a new one. We need a bigger one. We manifest a bigger one, right? So let's program our Chariot's GPS cancer. Let it know exactly where we want to go so it can route us around all the speed bumps and then seven swords that will show up, right? Let, and, we, and we break it up with the Chariot out of the top deck. Yeah. Four-wheel drive Wrangler Rubicon Chariot. Every other deck only has two horses guiding the chariot. The top deck, it's steam-powered. Fire and water make steam. Remember, that's what propelled the Titanic, well, halfway across the ocean. It got her all the way to the iceberg, and you got four-wheel drive. We don't care about what elements. We can go off-road. We can go through earthy, muddy elements. We can drive right over the swords. We can uh, we can drive through fire. Of course, the shells are, are bonded. You know, they, they can, our, our, our chariot's shell, they can withstand the heat of the sun and the gas of Jupiter's red spot. We got this, totally. Yeah, share it. So let's program the GPS. What is an outcome? What is a potential future outcome for cancer as we finish off Virgo season, get through all of this grounded, earthy Virgo and Pisces energy with the water, which is literally just taking our chariot to the mud bogs, you know, full moon in Pisces, new moon in Virgo. That's just earth and water, right? That makes mud. We're taking the chariot to the mud box, right? We got to stop at the quarter car wash and spend $58 cleaning it off later. But guess what? It'll look good when we're done. Yeah. All right. Where are we going for the future for cancer? Here we go. As we finish up Virgo season, head into October into Libra season, and pick out Halloween costumes. Oh, my God. This is on. God, 22 is going way too fast. This is craziness. Okay. Eight of cups. Eight of cups, bottom of the deck. Again, <laughs> cancer's getting sick of it. The cups are starting. Cancer said the cups are starting to run dry, spirit. You might be at that point where you're like, F you, spirit. I'm over you, too. And they're like, oh, man, cancer ain't playing around no more. We got to get something on here. In the future, Princess of Cups, cancer starting to learn how to use that eight of wands words that they're setting in right now a little more effectively. And this is something like, hey, nice pen. Looking good today. That type of thing. Uh, knowing when to compliment, too. Not just out of the blue for no reason. Hey, you look good. And they're like, what is wrong with cancer? Now, this is using this is, this is is using your words wisely, right? Right? All right, coming into an ace, using your words wisely, ace of wands, you might have a little fire sign come into your life or you're just going to start embracing fire sign because you know what's up when the ace of wands is up, right? That's all we're saying about that, but that's where you're going. Somebody likes Cancer's legs even more than we realize, right? Or you could, is there a Leo Aries or a Sag that likes your legs, Cancer? I don't know, right? Pretty woman, the fool, new beginning coming, see there? You've pro, whoa, what have we programmed the chariot for? We've programmed the chariot for a whole new beginning because you're tired of the old energy? That makes total sense to me. Dude, why does he look like Aquaman? Ah, Aqua, it's water. 
That's water. Uh, Aries shows up. Didn't I mention something about Aries energy earlier? So you got some Leo Sag and Aries showing up. Cancer's getting fiery. That water is coming to a boil. Uh oh, Cancer, don't get in the boiling water. Don't. It's not a hot tub. They just want crab legs. They just want crab legs. They want to be happy. Nine of cups. <laughs> Somebody's boiling the water for the crab legs. They're getting happy, Cancer. Your happiness is coming in, and this is where it's going. Spirit is literally like, Cancer's not effing around no more. We got to give them what they want. Cancer, if you want a little boom boom in your life, go for it. I don't mind one darn bit, because we all got to get it on somewhere sometime, right? <laughs> some pinnacles. I got to... Stop. Stop, Archer. I can't. This is too funny. Uh, Ace of Wands to an Ace of Pentacles. I love it. Anyways... This is showing cancer that the chariot is obviously programmed because you told it you want Ace of Pentacles. You want a grounded, stable new beginning. And, and the chariot's GPS is like, well, God, it's freaking triple Virgo season. What better time? You might even have a butt ton of Virgo placements somewhere in your chart, cancer. But it's embracing it and not just going all crazy Willy Wonka chocolate river nine of cups happiness, but actually very grounded nine level cups sitting all in a row, which is actually literally what this card is. That is nine cups level all sitting in a row. It's 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 stable and balanced. If you take the Nine of Cups, couple up with an Ace of Pentacles, you find stability. That's pretty cool. It, this is literally you. You tell them, Spirit. The cups, my cups are drying up. Time's running out. You either you either shit or get off pot. And Spirit's like, well, all right. We got Mercury retrograde into that Jupiter retrograde. That that's literally all triple sevens on the slot machine when Jupiter's retrograde coupled up with that. So and then you got the Pisces water for Jupiter, Pisces new moon, and then of course the butt ton of Virgo on the other side of the coin. So we're going mud bogging, but it's coming out good. It's a great time to print that Ace of Pentacles, plant that Ace of Pentacles, and let it grow into a beautiful little pentacle tree. Did your dad tell you money don't grow on trees? He obviously never planted a pentacle tree, right? So let's clarify, because this is, dude, good outcome. This is so far the best outcome of all the monthly so far for September. Cancer knows what they're doing. Yeah, chariot. All right. What are some clarifiers to help cancer get this outcome? Because this is a kick-ass outcome, you know? This is grounded stability. This is awesome. All right. Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands comes out. More fire energy. Embrace that Leo Aries Sag energy, man, cancer. Get to, remember, cancer is basically, we are the water signs Leo. And Leo is like the fire signs cancer. So embrace that a little bit. Get your Leo on, cancer. Get some Leo on and get your loving, you know? Eight of, eight of Swords shows up. That could be what stops it. But now check this out. In this case, this Eight of Swords, this chick is balanced. She's blindfolded. Her hands are level even. All the swords are organized in a row, right? So this is actually using the energy in your head, kind of magician-like, and taking past stuff and going, I didn't like that outcome, so let's try it differently this time. And actually, your little Page of Cups energy that you come out with has a very large amount of planning behind it, hanging out in your hanging out in your shell. Knight of Cups. Here we come, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, right to it. And how do you get the Ace of Wands? With a good-looking knight. Look at how chill this Knight of Wands is. He's like, oh, yes, welcome. Welcome to the party. I happen to have a full cup here ready for you. Let's party by the light of the moon, right? And that's how you get your Ace of Wands. You're coming off very mysterious, very cool, very collected. And people are wanting, somebody wants a new beginning. People are wanting that new beginning with you. Hello, look who decided to make an appearance. Maybe not the cherry, but the other card, the moon. And you know what we were just talking about, too. That when the moon is in Pisces, there's a reason that this that Pisces got this card. Granted, it's ours. It's 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 the moon. It's Cancer. This is literally this is our version of Empress Energy. But here's the thing: we understand that the moon we're we're the moon's bitch. That's how Cancer. That's Cancer's stick. It's what we got. It's what we're stuck with. But however, the reason Pisces got the moon card is because when Pisces is in charge of the moon, Pisces goes baby shark and makes the moon its bitch. This full moon in Pisces is going to be the first full moon. That leads you to a new beginning, Cancer. It's going to be the first full moon energy that you like. That you don't go through hell on earth dealing with. You're, Pisces is showing you how to make... See? Pisces is showing you how to make the moon your bitch for once. Justice is getting laid out. This full moon in Pisces that's coming up on the 11th. Like the 10th into the 11th of September. I mean, dude. Everybody knows historically stuff that happens on 9-11. And the significance of the numerical meaning of 9-11. If not, search it and look it up. The shit that's going down from the beginning of Mercury Retrograde on September 9th, just those three days, the 9th, the 10th, and the 11th, dealing with that full moon in Pisces on top of the start of a retrograde, it's going to be a whole different full moon that we are not used to, Cancer. It's going to be a Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, full moon. 
that's going to put us into the emperor energy. This is Burger King, and we are getting it our way. Look how freaking badass that emperor looks. He's just sitting there like, bitch, come at me. Right? Right? You are going to end up coming out of this 9-9 portal, which is the 8-8 Lionsgate portal on Virgo crack, and you're going to come out as an emperor, and you are going to look freaking good doing it. Knight of Wands, a lot of knights, a lot of knight energy. Love it. Woo, Cancer, we got to make this one happen. This is a good reading. I 100 million percent appreciate each and every one of my fellow Cancerians bringing their legs here and hanging out with me and Archer's shell for a little bit because we know how cool shells are, right? Yeah. Make it a good one. Like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff because especially right now, that would totally help me get us to that 1,000 subscribers and somebody's taking home old reliable because Mystic Mondays has, uh, has taken on the roll pretty good. Yeah. We do what we want here. So make this a good September. We'll see you later. And uh, hang out for my lives. Watch the community posts. And if you'd like to email me for a personal reading from one crab to another, or if you just want to connect because crabs like to talk, you know, let's talk about some stuff. Whatever. Email me at archerastrology at gmail.com and we'll take it from there, guys. All right. Made a good one. Yeah. Cheerio.